Doc, are you ready to come around pretty quickly? Is everyone ready? Yeah, I think so, mate. Um, other than uh, Rennie, whose phone's still on, but uh, everyone else is ready. Uh, no, we're ready. We're as ready as we can be. Obviously, it's been a shorter pre-season, but um, it's obviously been documented. The, the gap between last season and this was a bit shorter as well. So physically, they came back in, in really good shape, and therefore, we were able to speed things up from that point of view. And then, yeah, the bit of continuity with you know most of our playing group holding together. So we're only really re-educating you know, five new players. Chelsea said we're faster, we're stronger, we're better skilled. Do you see that in the girls after another season goes by? Uh, well, the you know the high performance team you know measure all those first parameters, and yeah, they are they're ahead of the curve in terms of where they've been, which is great. It's probably the case across the competition, I'd imagine. So. Uh, and then the skill piece is interesting. Yeah, we were actually training in more challenging conditions at the moment because of the rain and, and training through winter. But um, overall, I'd, I'd agree. I'd say, yeah, the, the skill level continues to improve. And that's a little bit about our players continue to develop and it's a little bit about the new ones coming in. So all of our recent draftees are you know highly skilled. So that's, uh, that's a real bonus. How have you found they've adapted to the new girls? The new, new players in? Yeah, so it's been really pleasing. We've... Uh, uh, everyone got a, a pretty good hit out in the Port game and then again versus North Melbourne and uh, what was particularly for the young ones, so for Keely and Kira uh, to step into an AFLW environment and, and look okay at the level was really, really pleasing. So, you know, that doesn't happen always automatically, but uh, off the back of basically a nine-week pre-season for them to be able to play those games and, and look comfortable was, yeah, it was great. How hard is it to prepare with those extra teams, you know, not perhaps knowing yeah, well, we probably, um, for, fortunately, we know the one that we're playing on the weekend pretty well because we've uh, come up against them in our last game. Um, and as the season wears on, we'll, we'll get a better feel for, for our you know, varying opponents. Obviously, we played Port, uh, but in those trial games, you're pretty much focusing on yourself. And so, um, as I say, we, we played Port in round six, and by that stage, we'll have, we'll have had a pretty good look. Um, does, a, does starting the season up against Melbourne, given it's it? You know, obviously a grand final rematch, is, is that a, a better indication of where you're at from the result you think you'll get? Uh, the result, I mean, I don't know what the result will be, but uh, regardless of the result, um, it's it's going to be a huge challenge and, and it probably won't be totally indicative of what the season will, will, will play out as. Um, clearly we'd love to win and we want to get off to a, to a great start, um, but... Yeah, we've got a fair bit of respect for, for our opponent. They're, um, they're highly talented right across the park and you know the result from the grand final went our way, but you know it, there's a lot of metrics in that game which said that they were going all right as well. So um, no, it'd be a great match. Uh, we can't wait, and I'm sure that they're you know, chomping at the bit to get it at us as well. Uh, yeah, well, we'll have um, one, not, not an AFL W debutante, but one debutante for our club. So Neve Kelly came over from West Coast and she'll play her first game for, for the Crows, uh, which is really exciting for her and, and for the group. She's fitted in really well um, and, you know, she's you know, full of energy, full of enthusiasm and, uh, and I think she's going to be one that the fans will enjoy watching. Um, does this give people a bit more of an opportunity, like, you know, with more clubs? I guess there are some players down there. Yeah, it's going to be, um, well, I love it from a South Australian perspective. Uh, there's a number of players on Port's list who had trained on with us, you know, over, over multiple years, to be honest, and, um, and hadn't been able to quite squeeze their way onto our list. And, but we were, you know, well and truly considering them uh, in the event that we'd potentially lost more players. So for all those girls to be getting a game is, is brilliant. Um, and then, yeah, once again, that, that talent pool of South Australian youngsters coming through. Um, once again, we, I think we had picked six and, and eight in the draft from the, from the young players' point of view, uh, but we still got really highly talented uh, kids, so we're, we're wrapped. And, you know, all those ones that are over down the road, they'll, uh, they'll have great careers as well, I'm sure. Weekly Aaron Phillips question. Oh, yeah? What was that? Who fills the hole up forward? Yeah, well, clearly, um, you know, a fairly significant part of our, of our team over the last uh, six seasons. But, um, you know, over the... Over the previous two or three, we've started to see other players emerge and, and fill that fill that void a little bit. But you know, it's a deficit, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to see who can step up. Ash, Ash is in good shape. She's trained really well. hasn't missed a beat. I can't think of her missing a training session. So she's had a, a really strong preseason. And uh, yes, obviously she was the leading goal kicker in the comp last year. But from my perspective, um, you know that may well not be the case this year. She might play some slightly different roles. 
Uh, but what she does do is compete really strongly and, you know, both in the air and on, at ground level. So we're really looking forward to what her footy brings this year, whether it be, you know, multiple bags of big, you know, big bags of grape. But if she just competes for us, then that'll be a great outcome as well.